Hello everybody, this is Dr. Feminath. Dental decay has been a problem for everyone from time immemorial. Many means and methods of preventing dental decay has been practiced like brushing of tooth every day, periodic application of fluoride varnish on the teeth, tooth mousse, so on and so forth. Today I am going to explain to you how tooth mousse helps you to prevent dental decay. Before going further, I would like you to know how a dental decay develops. Our mouth is replete with bacteria and fungus. They actually grow in a balance. If the bacteria grows up, then the fungus is suppressed and vice versa. There is a bacteria called Streptococcus mutans in our mouth. They act on the sticky carbohydrates which is there in the mouth and produces lactic acid. It is this lactic acid that removes minerals from the tooth and produces cavity. Now we all brush in the morning after you get up. Did you know that brushing in the night is more important than brushing in the morning? Have you noticed that most of them develop bad breath when you get up in the morning? You would also notice that when you sleep, your mouth is dry. This is basically because we have decreased formation of saliva in the night while sleeping. Because the function of the saliva is to cause digestion of our food. It helps in decluding your food. It lubricates your mouth and helps in speech. All these things are not required when you are sleeping. So it's our body's mechanism to stop producing saliva when you are sleeping. If at all you produce saliva during sleeping, that can drool out of your mouth. Now consider you have some amount of food which has been left over in the night after your last breath brushing. So the carbohydrates is acted on, on the, upon the carbohydrate, these bacteria act and produce lactic acid and it causes decomposition of the food. It is this decomposition of the food that causes the bad breath in the night. Now consider the decomposition of the food is going to happen in the daytime where saliva is present. When saliva is present, what happens? This food debris has been washed out. The lactic acid which has been produced by the bacteria is diluted by the saliva. Saliva contains buffers which act as like uh, bicarbonates which neutralizes the acid which has been produced from the reaction. So the deleterious effect of the presence of carbohydrate in the mouth during the morning time is nullified because of the presence of saliva which does not happen in the night. So that is why while sleeping you need extra protection. This is when tooth mousse comes in handy. Do you know what tooth mousse is? Tooth mousse is basically calcium phosphopeptides. This is basically derived from a milk protein called casein. You know how it acts? This calcium phosphopeptides act on free calcium and phosphate which is present in the tooth especially when there is some amount of initiation of the decay which has happened and they fixes it up. They, they forms calcium monophosphate from, from the free calcium and phosphate available and this monocalcium phosphate is, I'm sorry, rather uh, calcium monophosphate is highly stable and is resistant to acid attack thereby preventing dental decay. So it is basically the calcium monophosphate which helps to prevent dental decay. Now, when do we use this? See, any time after your last meal, you can brush your teeth. But application of tooth mousse around the tooth should be reserved just before you go to bed or rather when you start feeling sleepy. When you start feeling sleepy, the saliva production is st starts decreasing and that is what we want. Because if saliva is present when we are applying it, what happens is saliva washes off this tooth mousse. So the effective action of tooth mousse for the entire night is not available. So just before you lie down or you feel sleepy that you should apply this tooth mousse around the tooth. So how do you use this? We should, you can take a earbud, express some amount of paste of tooth, tooth mousse, apply, apply it all around the tooth, not even missing a single surface of the tooth and leave it like that till you get up in the morning. When you get up in the morning, it will definitely be removed by itself.
moved by itself. Now, what are the different types of tooth moves available? The two types of tooth moves available are, they, are, they all come in uh, different flavors, but uh, mainly they are available as tooth moves plain and tooth moves plus. Tooth moves plus is basically, it contains fluorides and the company advocates tooth moves plus for people who are above 12 years because it contains fluoride. But in my opinion, to, tooth moves plus need not be bought because uh, the chances of fluoride ingestion is there and sometimes, you know, it can result in skeletal fluorosis. But people might argue that tooth moves as well as the toothpaste contains fluoride concentration of 1000 parts per million. But even, the, even though that is true, toothpaste is something which you brush and then spit it out, whereas tooth mousse has to stay inside the mouth for long. So it's always better to err in the side of caution. So I do not advocate using of tooth mousse plus. Where do you buy it from? You can buy it from all dental clinics across India and from leading online dental sh uh, shops, portals like the Dental Material Shop. The link to purchasing it from Dental Material Shop has been given in, my, in the description below. You can purchase it from them. They are uh, quite uh, fast in delivery and are more economical and reasonable in pricing. So in the next video, I'll be coming up with, with how tooth mousse helps to remove yellow and white patches found in the tooth, which is basically due to defective formation of enamel and dendine. Till I come up with the next video, it's goodbye from me.